All right, back for another beer review, and today I am reviewing a beer from Urban Artifact, and they are out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and this is their Kaleidoscope. So they are calling this a pineapple, orange, and guava Midwest. Fruit tart comes in at 9.1% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in the time of review. This can is approximately seven weeks old, and I want to give a huge thanks and shout out once again to my good friend and viewer of the channel, Jeff, aka No Jinx, for hooking me up with this one. I appreciate it, good sir. I'll post a link in the description box to the beer mail unboxing video I did of all the goodies he sent my way. This was in his um, uh, second beer mail to me, and uh, he wasn't going to send this originally, then he ended up sending another box uh, along with the other huge box he sent, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get into this one. So, their Kaleidoscope series is a Midwest fruit tart series, whatever that means, <laughs> and uh, I had the strawberry uh, version that was um, uh, pretty good. I, I was a little bit underwhelmed. I was, you know, I don't know. I, when it comes to Urban Artifact, I've heard so many good things, and I had that, and I was like, you know, it's damn solid, but it didn't blow me away. So he actually sent this one to me because of that. Now, I can't remember if they actually use lactose in here or not. Um, let's see on here. It says, this Midwest fruit tart has 1,500 pounds of pineapple, 600 pounds of guava, and 500 pounds of orange per uh 30 barrel batch. So yeah, that's a lot. Real fruit is heavy, gently turned end over end before opening and serving. The real fruit used in all urban artifact beer has been fermented out, creating a safe, stable, and delicious beer that now will not re-ferment or explode under a normal storage condition. So um, yeah, it does say it contains sulfites, so that's interesting. Anyway, yeah, let's get into this one. I believe the strawberry one had lactose. I don't know if this one does, but we'll, I guess we'll see. Usually I can pick up on lactose, but who knows? Give it a pour. I haven't had too, wow, that pours out like guava juice. I haven't had too many um, Midwest fruit tarts. Uh, I've only had one, but I haven't had too many like Imperial sours because um, this is basically an Imperial sour, more or less. Anyway, that looks very akin to the strawberry one. It has, so the strawberry one when I was pouring out, I was like, oh, that, that color looks really good. And then it got into the glass and I was like, this looks like honestly sewer water. This has vibes of that, but not as much. It's not as gray looking. It definitely looks like guava juice. So it has this like really just, I don't know, like off orange color. It just looks weird. I, it's hard to describe this uh, color. That's all I'm gonna say. It's hard to describe it. It has about a thin film of a uh, bright white head. But yeah, I mean, you can see it on camera. That just has a weird look to it. Maybe on camera it comes off as like straight on like a dark orange or something. I don't know. But in in person, it just doesn't look the greatest. Let's get a nose. Yeah, guava is the dominating characteristic. It's weird because they say 1,500 pounds of pineapple, uh, 600 pounds of guava, and 500 pounds of orange. This is all guava for me in the nose. <sighs> really not... <laughs> Honestly, the fact that they're using two and a half times uh, the amount of pineapple than guava is crazy because the guava just dominates. It's like little chunks too on the glass. They said it fermented out, but uh, no, there's definitely like sediment and stuff. Crazy. I don't smell any lactose, so I don't think there's lactose in here. I guess we'll see when I taste it, but yeah, it smells, it smells actually quite tart, not quite sour, but tart. Tons of guava, tons of like citrus, just like generic citrus. I couldn't tell you it's orange. Like there's grapefruit and citrus, uh, grapefruit and orange and, and lemon and lime. It just smells honestly like full on guava juice with like a little bit accentuated um, citrus tone. So yeah, it smells pretty good. I like guava. I've I had um, a guava beer uh, recently from uh, Grist House Brewing Company out of um, Grist House Craft Brewery out of uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It was their Gatsa Goza. Most guava four beer I've ever had. This is rivaling it in terms of the aroma. So let's get into it. Cheers, to everybody. And thanks again, Jeff. That's pretty cool. That's pretty fucking cool. This has, that's really, how many times can I say this is really cool? We'll say it one more time. That's really cool. It has a fruit smoothie quality without like the, the sweetness you'd get in a fruit smoothie. So it's kind of like you get all the characteristics of the fruits they put in there without the substantial like sweetness. Right up front, guava and orange for sure. As it passes through the palate though, that pineapple pops in, which is weird. Again, it's the third characteristic in this beer and... um you know, as far as my palate is concerned, but is the first ingredient listed and it has the most amount of fruit. But yeah, pineapple pops in mid palate and then it finishes on the higher side of the tart scale. So I've mentioned this before, but 
my like sour scale, it's basically tart and then here's sour. Sour is the high end, tart's the low end, I guess to you guys it'd be <laughs> tart and then sour. But regardless, it's tart, higher side of tartness. This one's kind of higher side of tart into lower end of sour. It's not full on puckering, but there's a big acidic vibe on the back of the throat. I feel like I'm gonna heartburn, kind of feel it into my chest, honestly. I feel like I'm gonna get some acid reflux kicking in shortly. At 9.1%, I cannot tell you this is a hair over probably like six and a half, seven. There is no warming in the chest. There's no astringency on the palate. It hides the alcohol incredibly well. The body on this one at 9.1% is like medium to higher side of medium body, which if this was a big imperial stout, I'd be disappointed. But at, considering it is an imperial uh, sour ale, I'm happy with it. The mouth feels smooth, um, slightly, slightly, slightly soft and smooth and creamy. There's a little bit of uh, overall like smoothness from the beer but I don't think this is using lactose. If it is using lactose, I'm not picking up on any vanilla, not picking up on any kind of like lactose vibes to, to the mouthfeel either. This tastes like a straight on pineapple orange or pineapple guava orange fruit smoothie that kind of removed the vast majority of the sweetness and you're left with a pretty tart, super refreshing beer at 9.1%, which is pretty damn cool. Um, this is for me better than their, uh, their strawberry version. The strawberry version was good. I think I gave that a four, maybe a higher side of four, like four, 4.1. It was a good beer, but again, it was a letdown just because I'm thinking, you know, strawberry and vanilla, it's just going to be an amazing beer. This one kind of reaches the potential that I think for me, I was hoping from the strawberry, but they actually did it with this one. So um, rating on the kaleidosco uh, kaleidoscope, the um, pineapple guava orange version, I am going to give this a high 4.25 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.35 out of 5. I think this beer deserves that. It uh, kind of hits the nail on the head as far as I'm concerned, um, as far as just the overall characteristics of the beer. I would like to see, I think I would like lactose in this to bump up the sweetness just a bit and also the, the mouthfeel. I would also like to see somehow the pineapple come to the forefront. I just feel, and correct me if I'm wrong, which... I can't really be wrong in this situation because it's my opinion, but I guess I could be still wrong. But I feel like any beer that has guava in it is going to kind of be dominated by the guava. At least that is what I'm getting from the guava beers I've had. I feel like guava is just the, just such a just like a force to be reckoned with when it comes to, to actual fruit in a beer. And there is, you know, two and a half times the amount of pineapple in here and almost the uh, same amount of orange and the guava just dominates, but it's not a bad thing because I do enjoy guava. I need to pick up more guava and just eat it so I can actually have a better understanding of exactly what I'm drinking. I've had guavas before, but I just don't eat them on a regular, you know what I mean? Anyway, thank you very much, Jeff, for sending this one my way. That was Kaleidoscope, the pineapple guava orange version, and it's from Urban Artifact, and I give it a high 4.25 out of 5, exactly a 4.35 out of 5. If you had this one before, let me know what you think about it. I think it's pretty damn good. And uh, what I like about it is it hides the alcohol at 9.1%, but it's also, it has a nice tartness, but it's not overly sour. That said, uh, another reason why I'm not giving it a huge high score is it's definitely acidic. I feel like I'm going to heartburn by the end of this night, so hopefully not, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, thanks again, Jeff. Thanks to everybody for stopping by for another beer review. Till the next one, cheers.